Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code weekly contest 3 and 24. It's an easy level problem. Um, the problem name is count pair of similar strings. So you are given a zero index string array words. Now two strings are similar if they consist of the same characters. Okay, for example, ABCA and CBA are similar since both of them consist of characters A, B and C. However, A, B, However, this string and this string are not similar because they do not consist of the same characters. So, return the number of pairs of i and j such that i and j are valid words and the two strings that are present there are similar. So, what are similar strings? Uh, having the same set of characters. Simple. We need to find the pairs uh, of pair of strings which are similar, right? So, these are certain examples. Um, so, here you can see these are certain examples. So, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So you pick this and this. These are similar because this, this has A and B. This also has A and B, right? All the characters are same. What about 3 and 4? So just see. 3 and 4 again. A, B, C, A, B, C. What about this? Just see. D is not present in any of them. So 2 cannot form a pair, right? So this is what we need to return, the number of pairs. So uh, again, an implementation-based problem. Nothing much fancy needed here. So what I have done here is... Um, you can use another data structures as well. I, 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 I find set to be handy. That is why I've used here. So what I've done, this, these are the list of string that I have. Now I create another list of set. Now, some of you can argue, why not whenever we compare two strings at runtime itself, like at that particular point of time only I calculate it. You can do so, but here the constraints are pretty less. So calculating the same thing every time will not give you TLE. But generally that is not the best of the approaches because suppose if this would have been 10 raised to power 5 and the length of each string would have been uh, or 10 raised to power 4 and the length of each string would have been 10 raised to power 4 or something like this. So obviously we will have to tweak the algorithm but we have to optimize the calculations as well, right? So what I've done, I've taken a list of set. Why I've taken it, I'll tell you, right? So the main intuition here is pick up a string, suppose A, B, C. Now create a set of this. Uh, that what are the distinct characters in this right so that will be a set so for each string i'll be creating that set okay so that at last i can create so for create uh, for for comparing two strings i can just compare the two corresponding sets and i know that whether they are equal or not so right so these are each of the words what i do i do set dot add get distinct characters of the current word now this is the function what is this function create a hash set add it into the set and return the set simple stuff so after this loop is over i have a list of set right now answer equals to zero i run a nested loop for i and j i compare that if the the set for the ith string if that is equal to the set of the jth string increment your answer and finally your nested loop is over return your answer now this equals is something that is provided by java library itself you can compare two objects here set one and set two are two objects so that they, they compare whether the values present in these two sets are equal or not right so yeah that's it i hope you learn something new from this video uh, do let me know in case of any queries i'll be more than happy to revert on each one of them also if you find this channel uh, useful do subscribe to it uh, also do like the video it helps me keep motivated so yeah take care bye bye